So, Zetas, let's let's have a look at this ridiculous factory. Oh, come on, dude, slow down. I can't. It, are logistics bots enabled? Uh, logistics bots, yeah. So, could I request things from here and get it? Uh, you, there's only some stuff here. This is a smelting sort of part. Um, <laughs> but you might might Promising. be able to get stuff here. Promising. Uh, Cause I, I just would like to move faster, that's all. Oh yeah. So you uh, think the uh, the Power Armor Mark II probably out of uh, out of the question? How about I go, I'll go get you one. <laughs> just <laughs> hold on. Actually, we can go from here. Oh, you have a rail. Excellent. Um, you're going to need. To oh, oh no! No, we've crashed. Have we? We've crashed. I have. You've crashed. Oh. That's so disappointing. Well, I'm still here. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> I have no fuel, though. And there is no fuel anywhere. Oh, here's a coal line. Well, let's, let's take the coal line, because we just spent, how long was it? Half an hour loading the yeah, game? That's so disappointing. It was. Especially after we spent so long loading the game. Yeah. Oh, I'll go through on my world and I'll sort of explain to you where shit is and you can if it's still working for you. Yeah. Um Yeah, yeah, definitely. Now you can have where should I go to? Um go to there should be a station called A one parking. A one parking. Triple A one parking? Uh let me have a quick look. Cause this world is humongous. Yes, AAA1 parking. AAA1 parking, alright. Okay, and that will take you to my spaghetti factory. Um, you guys in the stream, I'm just going to sort of play along and, and Root will hopefully be sort of following where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. So, just, t tell, yeah. me, tell me a little bit about the goal here. What, what's the goal with this world? Okay, so uh, there's two main smelting factories. Uh, First of which you you were just in, and coming off that, there's ten mines, ten copper, and ten iron mines. Um, so the the basic idea is that there's going to be an enormous amount of resources coming in, and that will all feed via trains to the main factory, which, if you look at your map, is that sort of factory that's just above my solar farm. Okay. Uh, Okay, so this this is the main factory uh, above the solar farm. Yes. So um, okay, we'll have to go check that out. Very yeah, shortly. definitely. Oh um, my god, <laughs> I see what you mean by a spaghetti factory. Yes. So if you request stuff in the logistics system there, you might be able to build yourself a, a power armor um, to move around a bit quicker. You uh, you don't have power armor in the network? No, I have an automated stuff oh, like that. Oh, disappointing. This this morning, as can't I said, spaghetti, spaghetti factory just takes shit from wherever. This <laughs> look at this in here. It's this. <laughs> There's shit going everywhere. <laughs> uh, it's oh my lord. Oh, and you've twisted. Oh yes, okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, for everyone expecting me actually to fix this factory, that's not happening. This is going to be more of a tour today. What that factory there, the spaghetti one, that eventually, literally, will be deconstructed, ripped out, destroyed. I might end up just shooting it, so it'll be quicker. Um, yes, it would be. The deconstruction yeah. stream would be hilarious to watch. Yeah. Because, uh, actually, Colonel Will, um, he deconstructed his megabase the other day. And that was quite interesting, watching mm -hmm. him do that. What's... They're good, but they take some time. Alrighty. Um, so when you have you got the the armor? No. <laughs> <laughs> you still still trying to I've, work your way around it? Yeah. Well, while while the uh, the bots are bringing that to me, you finish the research. So that that was going to be an obvious question. Yeah. And you have the mother of all concrete factories as well, because you have a fair bit of concrete um, that is uh, required. Yes. So. Um, Basically, I am somewhat OCD from playing this stupid game, and uh, I concrete everything. 
So the main factory, all the smelting, and then even the rails going out to all the mining outposts as well. Everything has been concreted, I and did, I'm sure... I, I did notice that the rails were concreted as well. And yeah. like that, that's a new level of neurosis as far as I'm concerned. You're not Italian, <laughs> are you? No, no. Because <laughs> I know they love, they love their concrete, the Italians. Absolutely. <laughs> um, no, it's just, I, it looked good, and so I was like, oh, I'll start. And it was low maintenance, stuff. you don't have to mow. How good is yeah, that? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so like, excellent. That, that looks good, so I'll roll with it. And then before I knew it, it got to a point where I was like, well, I've done too much to, like, not do the rest now. Yeah. Fuck. So you had to just keep keep rolling with it. And yeah, so through. out of the 500 hours that I've put into it, I reckon I've spent at least 50 just laying concrete. Um, <laughs> I found it's it's much quicker to do so by hand. Do not try and do it with bots because it will just take years. Yeah, right. So you would just run, get a full load of concrete, and then run along. I had a yeah, I had a train that was about fifty wagons long that I just filled with concrete, mm -hmm. and I'd just run back and forth unloading from that one. I don't know whether to be horrified or amazed. <laughs> yeah. Why you? <laughs> that's yeah next level I love it oh hold on hold on stop oh so disappointing that I crashed yeah it is um but you'll um how do I ah here we go because I just need a couple of legs and a fusion reactor to drive them and we'll be good alrighty I think it's, it seems that uh, you had an old Power Armor Mark II in the network, and it has a durability. So it has 20 hit points left out of 20,000. So you, uh, you've you been fighting a little bit in that one. Yeah, the, uh, the I didn't realize when I started this, this world because I was still sort of new to Factory. Like, I, I knew how everything worked, but I wasn't really intense on all the sort of different mechanics and all that sort of thing as I am now, that I was just like, okay, well, I'll leave Vita spawners on, I think... I even ramped them up a bit higher than normal. <laughs> <laughs> and so... If Rookie look, mistake. <laughs> yeah, if you look at some of the further outposts, some of the yeah. spawners out there are just insane. And the only way to get through them is to have three fusion reactors in your power armor. Yep. And then about three... Up. I usually roll with, I think, six... Um, six of the shields. And yep. then 134 of the destroy bots. And just kite them around, do circles, yep. avoid them like all hell, and just let the, the combat bots do the work for you. So just just a quick question. Before you turn this factory on, are you planning to take out all of these biter nests? No. They'll be left. The entire perimeter of all the train networks and all the, um, the actual factory parts, there's a perimeter of two solid walls and then uh, turrets as well. So even when the production ramps up and the production cloud, the pollution cloud gets enormous, I should still be protected. Um, and there is a train that runs to all the bases, all the mining outposts that drops off uh, both turrets, walls, and repair packs to make sure that everything can be maintained by the bots. Yeah, okay. Um, just one thing, though. You're not going to have the power to support that, by the way. Not at the moment, no. Yeah, uh, so you, moment, you're planning a... An, uh, yeah. An expansion. Yes. Expansion is the one I'm looking for. Pretty much what I have at the moment, I plan to probably times by four or five. Um, oh. I estimate I'm going to need around eight gigawatts of power to run it, but I could be completely wrong. That's yeah, right. A... So where where in the main base should I go? Okay. Uh, so if you head there, and there is if you head to like main base left copper plate unload six main base left oh, um hmm. i can't see no just go any of them it doesn't really matter one two three four five six assuming that's what i mean i was talking earlier i hope they do increase the size of the uh, train interface yeah, hopefully. <laughs> At least make it resizable. Yes. So you Yeah, okay. I think it I think it's making sense. And this is ridiculous. Like 500 hours. That's yeah. a that's a long time and you can, you can see the 
how much you've managed to get done, which is also impressive. So with, uh, I noticed that you've got logistics, robo, like ro robo ports all along the train line. Does that mean that they're all part of the same network? Or? Uh, no, just so that spaghetti factory and the solar farm, that is covered by one logistics network. And that's basically just because that's where I'm sort of working a lot of the time and, and expanding the, the power system. So yep. that's one network. And then there's an individual network that covers the entire part of the main factory. Right, okay. We seem to have a traffic jam. Not ideal. Not so ideal. We're back in the, uh, the smelting now. Uh, okay. So this, this smelting, you've got this... I've got a really long train there. That's just I'm using that at the moment to to work on stuff. So you'll just yeah. have to run past it. That's all right. Um, but I noticed that on the output there's these fancy figure eight things. Why is that? Okay, so they're each of those uh, iron plate loads, and you guys that are in the stream can see it at the moment. Um, there's going to be probably five or six trains going into each of those copper plate and iron plate loading stations. So oh, those these these are actually stackers. Yeah essentially it's a buffer so that trains can first of all come in off that main line at full speed and not hold up trains behind and also as a buffer so that if there is one occupying the station they can sit behind it and wait that is the ugliest ass buffer i've ever seen <laughs> it's the most compact that i could make it so yes yeah i'm just i'm just thinking like that's compact you can fit one two three four five six trains in the buffer plus one at the station mm. impressive ugly but impressive <laughs> and this is your big ass train oh my god look at it so if i put this in f like my little wagon in front will that take me to where i need to go it will yes oh you're australian right yes can you answer one question for me then trains drive on the left why what have you done why this 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 says drives on the right. Yeah, that's sort of uh, just for the that part because it cuts through the middle of that smelting base. It does actually drive on the left. It's just that it's a dual bi-directional track if you're coming from the smelting bit. Hard to explain, but it, yeah, you are driving on the left, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lost. Where was I going again? Main base? Main base left, copper unload six. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's let's do this. Because this, this is awesome. I'm loving this base. So you've got like speed modules in the furnaces as well? Uh, only in one line, I think, at the moment. But there will be, they'll eventually be full. Um, it's just I couldn't be bothered doing it at the yeah when I set that up so but eventually yes basically everything in my world I pretty much run exclusively with speed modules um, I was going to run with efficiency modules for a while and I thought well fuck it everything's defended anyway so yeah I may as well just run with speed modules turn it up to 11 and rock on yeah over 9000 right yeah that's right your train system doesn't make sense to me you've got parts that are driving on the I, yeah okay let's let's uh, continue on ah more death trains how, how big are the trains going to be that you run uh, for your normal so it's two locos and four wagons okay so a two four zero yeah awesome um, so right I, now we're moving into copper unload okay so if you jump out of the train and then head to your right, you will see the main part or the main design of the factory. This is absurd. Uh, and it's what I call a crossweave design. Um, it's essentially 20, uh, 20 main buses running through the center of the factory. This is absurd. So each of those horizontal lines that you see, they're, they're obviously two belts. Yeah. One belt will be full of iron and the other one will be full of copper. And as they go through the assemblers, if the assembler needs copper or whatever, it will take it off that line and same thing for iron. Um, the vertical belts that you see there, mm -hmm. I worked out that there are a couple of main components in the game. So you've got 
steel plate, iron gears, and of course circuits. Yeah. So they run vertically through those belts. Um, there's five assemblers for every single item in the game. Yep. Uh, except I haven't added the point one two items in yet. Okay. Uh, um, so, so five that, assemblers for everything. Yes. For all the things. For every single item in the game. Yeah, right. I'm just looking at your gear wheel factory. Yeah. Right now. Those, so these, the gear wheel factory, etc. It's not balanced at the moment. None of it's balanced. Yeah. I. It's basically all just placeholder. It's something that I can work with and and fix up uh, later on. Placeholder, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, your placeholder for gear wheels is bigger than most people's end game factory. <laughs> Let, let's uh, let's keep a little bit of, um, shall we say, perspective. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I, I love I love how you've done underground belts everywhere. That's that's a new level craziness. Like, uh, was... I, have you ever watched Stuff Plus? I haven't. No. Because this this is how Stuff Plus actually did a playthrough once upon a time. It was just like underground belts everywhere, and I must say it does have a certain appeal to it. Yeah, the, actually, uh, it, it ended up looking pretty cool, so I sort of rolled with it. But the original reason why I went with it was because uh, before point one two came out, I my UPS and FPS was dropped to just I think it was down to about eight or something, and I found that if I placed replaced a lot of the normal belts with underground belts, my FPS and UPS actually went up quite a bit. Really? Because it, it wasn't rendering all the items. I don't know whether... That... So you actually did it for frame rate reasons? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, that's very good. <laughs> so if you continue further to the right or to the east... Yeah, um, I'm just looking see... at your circuit factory now. Yeah, so that is, as I said, another placeholder. It's not balanced. It's okay. shit. Uh, but later on I'll just rip that out and put in something that is balanced and, and works so all of the circuits that come off that production area and uh, there's three circuit production areas uh, all the circuits that come off there you might see on the right hand side there's belts that run south they carry all of the circuits okay, and yeah. basically run, if you look at the map they run around the bottom perimeter of the map until it gets under that main factory area and as I said before, then it runs upward vertically through that that cross-sectional factory. Um, so that's Where on how earth did you get the idea for this thing? Uh, I made it up as I went. I hacked it all together, to be completely honest with you. <laughs> okay. Because the, the cross-weave concept is very interesting. Mm. I, so... I have no idea whether it's going to work or, or whether it's going to sort of produce something that's... I can mass produce items really quickly. Um, you, I'll bet you beer that you have massive bottlenecks. Yeah. Bet uh, you I beer, have... but cool factor. Hello. Mm. I think uh, I think this is better than Zisto's. Oh, big statement. Wow. Come on. Like seriously, he was like, "Yeah, I'm going to put every item on a bus," and it was like, "Yeah, okay, well, cool. That's been done." <laughs> um, yeah. I'm just standing in the middle of this crossweed factory going, mm hmm. Yeah, well, uh. Do you, do you see a shrink at all? I must. No, I probably should. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> an appointment there would be a good, good plan. <laughs> yeah, oh, so. Oh my god, this is awesome. So, um, that that's 19 minutes and we've covered a fraction of the factory. Let's, let's, yeah. uh, pause here and then, uh, continue on and we'll go cover some of the mines and oh crap i've got to tr find my train first where the hell did i park that <laughs> my god so, where are we there is north. a bit of an issue with that that cross-sectional or cross-weave factory at the moment that is that i'm guessing i'm going to have throughput issues because yeah as the iron and copper is sort of munched up at the start of the factory yep. um it won't make it to the further assemblers until those first ones have full production queues etc exactly um so what I'm actually going to do is shift each assembler down two spaces and run two more belts in between each one. That way I'll have better throughput. Um, well, so all, all you really need to do is um, just set uh, some limits on the boxes and just get, like for example, uh, someone in chat's just pointed out that you've automated deconstruction planners. Yeah. 
every so, item. For an example, you can automate, say, right, make five of these for me, and then have it turn off. If you do that, it will eventually buffer. It'll just be a question of how long it takes. Yeah. Um, so I suppose it's definitely... a question of what solution you want. That was definitely something that I was thinking of, but I thought part of the, the fun would be to have every single item automated to excessive levels. Um, and oh. that was just sort of like a, a personal sort of challenge to the map, really. But, um, yeah. All right. Uh